Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is all of focus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of our electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with the reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, a compact SUV from Honda, the 2019 BRV 1.5S CVT, and a subcompact SUV from JAC, the S2 1.5 CVT Intelligent. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2020 Porsche 718 Boxster Spider and the 2020 Toyota Prius Prime. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two MPVs, the 2019 Toyota Vanza and the 2019 Suzuki Ortiga. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, you shall have the recently held launch of the new Lexus RX Luxury SUV as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Auto Focus and we'll be right back after this short break. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back to Auto Focus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Honda. The Honda BRV came in the market with a refreshed look and features and is now more fuel efficient and bolder. We have the iconic 7 seater in this car review. Watch this. What we have here is the Honda BRV 1.5 SCVT. The exterior of the new BRV exudes a masculine and premium look as it revolves around the grand concept of enhanced SUV image. Up front, the BRV showcases a new chrome front grille that is paired with a new front bumper. The daytime running lights and halogen headlights and fog lights further accentuate the front fascia. Over at the back, a newly designed rear bumper is provided to give it a stronger character. Completing the design of the BRV is the newly designed 16-inch alloy wheel which contributes to its long wide stance for a more commanding road presence. Other exterior features of the BRV include power folding door mirrors with integrated side turn signals and a new shark fin antenna that enhances its masculine and premium look. It's time to hop inside the BRV. The BRV offers a spacious and comfortable cabin that provides ample leg and headroom for the passengers to move conveniently during any drive. This variant retains the all-black interior. However, it has been improved and changed into dark steel. It also has the fabric material for the seats, which is still comfortable anyway. The dashboard remains simple and straightforward, with the buttons and controls positioned in convenient places. For the infotainment system, the 1.5 S CVT variant is equipped with a 7-inch capacitive touchscreen display audio. For added convenience, the BRV is now equipped with a reverse camera. Let's talk about the powertrain of the new BRV. Under the hood of the 7-seater is a 1.5-liter IV tech engine that is capable of producing 120 PS of power and 145 Nm of torque. The engine is mated to Honda's Earth Dreams Technology Continuously Variable Transmission that delivers a smooth, refined, and fuel-efficient driving performance. Thank you. 
When it comes to safety and security, the new BRV comes with Honda's G-Force Control Collision Safety Body that dissipates G-Forces in the event of a crash and disperses it away from the vehicle's occupants on impact. Moreover, standard on both variants are driver and front passenger SRS airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, hill start assist, vehicle stability assist, and speed sensing door auto lock. Additionally, catering to the needs of every Filipino family, the BRV comes with ISOFIX anchors to securely latch a child's seat, making the new BRV worthy of its 5 star ASEAN and CAP rating in the Adult Occupancy Protection category. That was all about the Honda BRV 1.5 S CVT variant, a car that excites customers and car enthusiasts. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains. Ako po si Michael Kaliwag, labing dalawang taon ng patrol crew para sa Enlex Esitex. Bilang patrol crew, handa akong marap sa anumang di nasa ang sitwasyon. Naalala ko pa noon, 2009, Bagyong Ondoy, papatrol kami sa index nang may nakita kami isang pamilya na natrap sa bubong. Kahit kailangan magpatrol, nagdesisyon kami na sagapin at iligtas sila. Kami ang index SETEX Patrol Crew, paagapay at katawag nyo sa mas maayos na paglalakbay. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam. My passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Welcome back to Auto Focus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. Volkswagen Philippines celebrated its sixth anniversary through a family themed mall event held at the Trinome Activity Center in North Edsa, Quezon City. We're currently now at the Trinoma Mall uh, to celebrate the sixth year anniversary of Volkswagen Philippines. We wanted to have our celebration during a weekend, which we know is a valuable family time because we wanted to be close to uh, Filipino families and uh, you know celebrate our momentous event with them. 
highlighting the weekend celebration was an 8-car display of the Santana, Santana GTS, and LaVita, with the Club Edition and Club Edition Plus packages as dealer options, all brought to exhibition standards with official detailer Sonex. The introduction of the LaVita Club Edition and Club Edition Plus serves as Volkswagen's Philippines special gift for all Volkswagen enthusiasts. The anniversary package includes accessories such as the distinctive Club Edition decals, body kits, bigger and sportier 18-inch rims and wheels, and a touchscreen audio package with a kicker speaker system for the Club Edition Plus. For our 6th anniversary, we put together a dealer option package for our Volkswagen LaVida. And the two packages actually produce the LaVida Club Edition and the LaVida Club Plus Edition, which, as you can see, I guess makes the look a uh, sportier compared to the standard LaVida Edition, which I'm sure there also are a lot of customers who will like the basic package, no? But the Club and Club Edition Plus, we also think will be attractive to another set of customers. According to the company, the vehicle displays were symbolic of the Volkswagen brand that has won awards from reputable automotive journalism bodies, such as the Car Awards Group Inc., Car of the Year Philippines, Sunshine Television, Ventures Autofocus People's Choice, and Media's Choice, and C Magazine C Awards. Volkswagen Philippines also held the 54th activation of its Child Safety Initiative campaign with its Step to Safety module that addresses pedestrian safety for kids and parents. Come to our eight dealerships nationwide to check out the deals and promotions that we have on offer for our customers. And of course, check out in particular the La Vida Club and the La Vida Club Edition Plus. Honda Cars Philippines recently debuted the 10th generation Accord in an event held at Blackbird Makati. According to Honda, their newest luxury sedan offering now sports a premium and bolder design. Boasting a more advanced safety and technological innovations, the all-new Accord now comes in Honda Sensing System that aids the driver to prevent or effectively respond to dangerous driving situations. This is a very important model for Honda because uh, this model highlights the Honda's innovation for safety and technology. We apply the comprehensive function of Honda Sensing. Mainly, customers can enjoy the collision mitigation braking system, which can avoid the customers to conflict the automobile or humans. So, customers can avoid the collisions by that function. The all-new Accord now runs on a new 1.5-liter inline 4 VTEC turbo engine made into a continuously variable transmission developed under Honda's Earth Dreams technology that produces an output of 190 horsepower and 260 Nm of torque. Developed under the concept of absolute confidence, the 10th generation Accord now has a wider stance, lower roofline, and a longer and lower hood combined with wing-shaped full LED headlights with auto-leveling and high-beam features up front and C-shaped LED taillights at the rear. Completing the profile is these 18-inch noise-reducing alloy wheels. Design-wise, we aim to elevate the uh, level of the design of our goal. Uh, features mainly change point is the overall styling, which more fastback design is create more premium and the sophisticated image. And there also detail LED headlight or roof brace consolidation, side panel and roof. That kind of very detailed items accumulated to create more premium and advanced image for our new Apple design. Inside a larger, more tech-savvy interior complements its body design. The only Accord's wider body and longer wheelbase also contribute to a larger cabin space. It also comes equipped with a new 8-inch display audio system that supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Primarily, we are targeting the businessmen and company executives who are looking for comfortable, premium, luxury, and reasonable vehicle for their daily use. I would like to invite all the televiewers to visit our dealers nationwide and our website at hondapil.com in order for them to know more about the feature of this Honda model. Sojits G Auto Philippines, the official importer and distributor of Geely cars in the country, celebrates the launch of the brand in a ceremony held at the Grand Hyatt Hotel in Bonifacio Global City, Taguig. To formally enter the Philippine automobile market, the brand also launched its initial offering, the Geely Cool Ray SUV, which will come in three variants, namely Sport, Premium, and Comfort. We're trying to, trying to uh, open here with this very young, youth-orientated SUV, very fun to drive. 
It's got lots of great features, lots of uh, technology in there that's going to make the joy of driving the fun, bringing the fun back to driving. According to G. Lee, the flagship SUV was designed using the youth power concept, with lines and angles which distinguishes itself from other small SUVs in the market. Other features include a 7-inch LED instrument panel display which matches the three different driving modes, Normal, Eco, and Sport, and a 10.25-inch multimedia touchscreen with QD-Link Android connectivity function. It should be a globally um, appropriate product. We'll listen to all markets and all inputs, and we really want to uh, deliver, especially for the global youth market. They're very similar in many ways. Everyone's on their gadgets. Everyone's listening to very amazing new music like I can hear in the background right now, and um, we, we're trying to hit that spot. Yeah. The new Cool Ray is now available at the recently opened Geely dealership in North Edsa. Please, all viewers, come and have great fun and bring the joy back to driving by experiencing the Geely Cool Ray. Thank you very much. Suzuki Philippines recently introduced the latest addition to their commercial vehicle lineup, the all-new Carry. According to Suzuki, the all-new Carry is designed to meet the need of commercial businesses with upgraded features such as a stronger and fuel-efficient K15B 1.5-liter engine that delivers an output of 96 PS of power and 135 Nm of torque, and a wider and longer body with access to side gates opening from all sides, making loading and unloading cargo easier. And this will set a new standard for utility commercial uh, vehicle in the country. And this all you carry is packed with massive uh, upgrades designed to offer even greater efficiency, flexibility, and maximum functionality. Actually, this is a global market product for Suzuki. But of course, Philippines is the one of the important market for Suzuki. So we carefully studied the uh, Philippine market also. Suzuki says the all-new carry can be converted and modified into a utility van, cargo truck, or pickup truck to suit any business needs. This model will be available in all uh, dealerships of Suzuki nationwide starting October 2019. This model starts at 499,000 for the cab and chassis, and for the carry truck it starts at 509,000 pesos, while for the carry cargo van it starts at 576,000 while for the carry utility van, the price is 614,000 pesos. Suzuki Philippines is also proud to announce the 18% growth of the brand compared to the same period last year. We try to maintain this momentum uh, with the additional marketing activities in the last of this year. We will continue to sustain our growth in the industry, if not improve it. We will continue to expand more uh, dealership network uh, nationwide. And just recently, we had a groundbreaking at Tago for another uh, Suzuki dealership. And this marks the 79th dealership of Suzuki in the Philippines. Mitsubishi Motors Philippines announces the return of its iconic L300 cabin chassis. The new L300 now boasts a 2.2-liter turbocharged and intercooled CRDI Euro 4 compliant engine that produces 98 horsepower and 200 Nm of torque for more payload and pulling power. Mitsubishi says the improved model will definitely be able to cater to the various demands of the micro, small and medium enterprise market and then other personal needs. Well, basically, form and function remain the same. The basic new item or the new features that we introduced with this new one is the Euro 4 compliant. It's a 4 and 1 4 diesel engine. It's a turbo CRDI, 16 valve, and it produces more power compared to the previous model. With over 190,000 units sold, Mitsubishi says the L300 is known for its durability, convenience, and being affordable, which makes it the vehicle of choice by many Filipinos. There has been a demand for the product. Uh, when we took it out more than a year ago, a lot of people were asking if we're going to revive or introduce a new model. So our parent company, Mitsubishi Motors Corporation, saw the need to return back the unit. So they made all efforts to come up with a new engine, which is the 4-in-1 for Euro 4 compliant engine, and again, serve the Filipino public. For the last 30 years, we sold more than 190,000 units, and it has been very durable, it's practical, and very dependable. So a lot of business companies are actually waiting for this one and to serve them more in the coming future. 
the all new L300 Euro 4 is now available in Mitsubishi dealerships nationwide with an SRP of 804,000 pesos for the cabin chassis and 998,000 pesos with FB rear body. So I would like to invite everyone to check out uh, your closest nearest dealership and see the L300. It's now available in the market at a very reasonable price and again definitely it, it will be the same vehicle that will be very dependable, reliable and functional to all your requirements. Thank you very much and hope to see you in our dealership. Auto Focus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam. My passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest-running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just a click away. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Journey, the new Montero Sport. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's Head to Head, our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category. In this head-to-head, -head, we have two seven-seaters whose names have become a staple in Filipino households. They're none other than the Toyota Avanza and the Suzuki Ertiga. Watch it here. Under the hood of the Avanza is a powerful 1.5-liter engine that gives out 103 horsepower and 136 newton meters of torque and is mated to a 4-speed automatic transmission. On the other hand, the Ortiga runs on a 1.5 gasoline engine that spits out 103 PS of power and 138 newton meters of torque and is coupled with a 4-speed automatic transmission. Comparing the two MPVs engine-wise, you'd see that they come close and are both powerful and fuel-efficient. Let's check out the respective exteriors of our featured cars. The exterior of the Avanza boasts a different-looking grille. It gets a fresh set of split-type LED headlamps, which seamlessly complements the character lines of the hood sheet metal, as well as front fog lamps alongside its dark front grille. The wheels come with a new tone, five-spoke design. To top it all off, there's the sporty rear design and the fin-type antenna. Meanwhile, the design and styling of the Ertiga features a taller nose and a wide and elegant front grille. The integrated lower grille and fog lamps add a sense of stability and make the car look edgy. On the sides, there are these deeper curves and character lines that hug the body of the Ertiga. Additionally, the Ertiga runs on 15-inch alloy wheels. Up next, the interiors. For the Avanza, it features a comfortable ride for its passengers through its 7-seater cabin and spacious cargo trunk. 
The interior design cues were patterned after versatility and practical daily use. For added convenience, there's a digital display air conditioning and additional accessory connectors present for the front and back rows. Talking about the infotainment system, the Avanza features a 6.8-inch capacitive touch panel display infotainment system. It is enhanced with high-resolution K2 technology audio that enables two phones hands-free and five phones music streaming. Smartphone mirroring is also allowed using the T-Link app. Meanwhile, inside the Ortiga, the flat bottom found in the steering wheel provides better leg clearance, while the gauges are painted with metallic chrome for a sleeker look. As a seven-seater, it offers enough space for passengers. For added convenience, a rear air conditioning is present to keep the second and third row passengers comfortable. Moreover, the infotainment system of the Ortiga comes with the standard 10-inch touchscreen display that is available in AM, FM, Bluetooth, USB, AUX, and navigation. Sound is enjoyable through four speakers. For safety and security, both the Avanza and the Ortiga come with a roster of features that ensure nothing less. For one, the Avanza is equipped with two SRS airbags for driver and passenger, 3-point ELR seat belts, and an ISOFIX child seat restraint system. On top of its anti-lock brake system, the Avanza also gets upgraded with side mirror integrated turn signals. For the Ortiga, it comes equipped with the Hartec, Suzuki's new generation platform. Another notable feature is the total effective control technology, which scatters collision energy across the vehicle frame to mitigate damage to the car and passengers. Aside from these, the Ortiga comes to the standard necessary features such as the anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, and dual airbags. Those are the Toyota Avanza and Suzuki Ortiga, two seven-seater MPVs that deliver what is expected of them. Our featured vehicles here on Head to Head. More about the automobile here in Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2020 Porsche 718 Boxster. Let's watch this. A convertible with a naturally aspirated 4 liters flat 6 from the 911 mated with a 6-speed manual gearbox. Do we need to add anything more? The 2020 Boxster Spider from the Stuttgart base brand is powered by a segment-topping engine, unlike the other Boxster or Cayman under the 718 badge in recent years, which are now powered by a mere 2-liter turbocharged 4 cylinders. The upcoming Spider has a more exciting, naturally aspirated flat 6 engine that revs up to a whopping 8,000 RPM, giving you that more aggressive growl which can make anybody's ears orgasm in pleasure. The 414 horsepower and 309 pound feet of torque can launch you from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.2 seconds. But do not worry, you can still enjoy this pocket rocket without risking your license. Having a foldable soft top and a 6 speed manual from Porsche, which we can all agree is the best stick shift you can buy in the market, even your chill everyday commute would have a little spice to it. Its sexier curves than a typical boxer would surely take the eyes off from any pedestrian graced by its presence. Porsche's GT department states that the Spider would essentially be a GT4 with the roof taken off with a much aggressive look and sound thanks to the sports exhaust. The only downside if you can call it that is its weight. Boxsters have always been a small mid-engine, lightweight car. But this Spider with its 3,206 pounds is only 24 pounds lighter than the bigger 911 Speedster that even with the soft top being only semi-automated. Maybe it's time that the differences between the 718s and the 911s become thinner and thinner.
Genlex Viaje Tips presents Healthy Road Trip. It's time for that much-awaited vacation, but here are a few things to watch out for. Sitting for long periods of time can form blood clots in your body like in the legs. To avoid that, stop for a quick break, get up, and move around to get your blood pumping. Car air conditioners speed up dehydration, so make sure to drink water frequently. Lastly, while driving, protect your eyes from the sun by wearing UV blocking sunglasses. And for a smoother trip up north, you can now drive all the way to your destination with one RFID. Get your Easy Trip RFID sticker now. Mitsubishi Motors. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Welcome back to Autofocus. Our special feature is next. The new Lexus RX has recently arrived in the Philippine market, signaling another milestone for the popular nameplate. With the changes done to the new RX, it became a testament to Lexus's ongoing commitment to maintain its status as a pioneer of the luxury SUV segment. What more the company brought in the all-new RX L variant? We have the highlights of the grand unveiling in this special feature. Watch this. gathered here tonight to witness the latest offering of the RX models here at Lexus Manila at the Global City. We have basically four variants. We have the RX 350, which is the base model, and this is front-wheel drive, while the rest are all-wheel drive. We have the newly introduced, right here at the back is the RXL, RX 350L. It has a seating capacity of seven. And basically, we have also the F-Sport. RX350 F Sport, and lastly, we also have the RX350 Hybrid model. According to Lexus, the RX remains the best selling model in the brand's lineup, being not just the most popular SUV, but also the most successful vehicle based on historical sales. As of June 2019, the RX has 1,413,000 units sold since it was first introduced locally in 2009. In fact, Lexus closed the first half of the year at the top with a share of 28%. Let's check out what makes the new RX stand out. The exterior of the 2020 RX retains a powerful and sporty appearance, while the character lines that runs from the front of the vehicle to the rear has been improved, giving the RX's overall appearance exceptional flow and consistency. All of this emphasizes Lexus's new design language. Our spindle grille has now become much better, much bolder, and much sportier. And also, of course, the headlamps, you can see. It has the latest technology. And also from the sides all the way to the rear, combination lamps, you can see the differences. And for the interior, there are some changes we made. 
And also, we are highlighting the capability for audio unit to accommodate both Apple. It has an Apple CarPlay and the Android AutoPlay. So both phones can now work into the RX. The engines of this are all the same. It's a basically a 3.5 V6, except for the hybrid, it's also 3.5, but it has a hybrid system incorporated into the vehicle itself. When it comes to the RX's driving character, it embraces Lexus's accelerating performance following the path of LC and LS flagship coupe and sedan as the engineer scrutinized every part of the body and made enhancement to the rigidity of the body and suspension system, as well as adding a new shock absorber and brake control system. On top of the new arrival of the new RX, the spotlight is on the all-new RXL variant. It comes equipped with changes that target comfort and convenience of the passengers. Inside the RXL, the third row seats now feature two different seating positions. In addition to the traditional seating position, even more leg space can be had with the new setting when the situation demands it. Another highlight of the RXL is the addition of connectivity technology, which features Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, as well as touchscreen and touchpad options. Actually, as I mentioned, all three models except for the Premier, which is the base model, is all-wheel all drive. So you can basically go anywhere you want. And of course, the pricing of the basic RX is the premier is at 4278 million. And the next one is we have the long body, which is the 4758 million. The F Sport is now at 4838 million and the hybrid at 5078 million. So these are basically the prices. Basically, we have nine colors for almost all the variants. The 2020 RX also features a new touch display screen in addition to the Lexus original remote touch interface. Right now, globally, RX is the best-selling model for Lexus and it's also the pioneer in luxury SUV. But here in the Philippines right now for this year, our number one selling is NX. Uh, we had to run out from our previous model but we expect this to increase sales. It's now number two and third is our ES models. So we're looking at around 20, 25 units per month for this new RX model. And hopefully we can surpass our previous year's sales performance. So we're always trying to introduce newer, bolder models for Lexus. And of course, we also try to always improve further our service operations and the service quality, the value that we want to deliver and the promise that we'd like to always deliver that's the most important. So. Slowly, we're getting there and we, we will try our best always to serve our valued customers. That was all about the grand arrival of the new Lexus RX and the all-new RXL in the local market reflecting Lexus' commitment to keep the model's legacy going. And up next is another exciting features on Autos of the World. This time around, the 2020 Toyota Prius Prime. Let's watch this. Toyota Prius Prime gets many upgrades for 2020 and remains the most efficient Toyota hybrid and one of the best options to protect drivers from price hikes at the gas pump. Available this summer, the manufacturer's suggested retail price for the LE grade will be $27,600, the MSRP for the XLE grade will be $29,500, and the MSRP for limited grade will be $33,500. The word Prime, which is defined as being the best or at the top, is a natural fit for the Prius model as it's the most technologically advanced, best-equipped Toyota Prius in the model's nearly two-decade global history. With the power to run in either EV20 or hybrid driving modes, Prius Prime strikes a harmonious balance between necessity and desire. New upgrades for 2020 include new fifth seat for even more room, standard Apple CarPlay, Sirius XM, and Amazon Alexa, two additional USB ports for the rear passengers, Black interior accents to replace various white accents for a more premium feel. A new sun visor extender. A relocation of seat heater buttons for front seat passengers for easier usability. New grade strategy that offers LE, XLE, and limited grades. The Prius Prime is the most efficient Toyota hybrid yet. When the charges run out, Prius Prime has a manufacturer-estimated 54 combined MPG. 
Designed with intelligent tech, premium materials, and thoughtful engineering, the Prius Prime represents the next step of Toyota's continuous quest to reach more efficient mobility with less range anxiety, without compromise. With its manufacturer estimated 640 mile total driving range and 25 mile EV mode 20 driving range, Prius Prime continues to raise the efficiency bar to help challenge what's possible. The powertrain is a Toyota first, thanks to a dual motor drive system that improves acceleration in EV mode for a fun drive. The Prius Prime is also great for commuters, as it's HOV approved as a single occupant green vehicle in some states such as California and New Jersey. The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here in Autofocus as we have our second car review this week. What we have in this edition of Car Review is a car that aims to be a game changer in the SUV segment. A Chinese vehicle that has a lot to offer. That's the JAC S2. Watch this. We have here the JAC S2 1.5 CVT Intelligent. Our first agenda have a tour of the exterior. The exterior of the JAC S2 looks premium and doesn't bear any negative connotation towards Chinese cars. It doesn't look all plasticky and it certainly doesn't look cheap. The front fascia is highlighted by this set of projector type headlamps with adjustable height framing the wide hexagonal grille. Just below the grille, a set of fog lamps and daytime running lights are present. Another feature that gives an additional accent to the JAC S2 is the swept back roof line plus the roof rails on both sides. On top of that, the JAC S2 comes with 16-inch alloy wheels. Overall, its exterior seems to be one of its strongest points. Let's check out the interior. Inside the JAC S2, it doesn't have the Chinese trademark styling as well, just like with its exterior. The seats are wrapped in leather, while certain areas like the center console, dashboard, and door panels are in textured plastic. There's enough space inside the JAC S2, however the headroom at the back could be improved, but overall passengers could move comfortably in the car during long trips. Let's talk about added convenience. Air conditioning is not a problem in the JAC S2. In fact, it's one of the good things in this SUV. Cooling wouldn't be a hassle in here especially during the day. 
The JACS2 is also equipped with cruise control, power windows, parking sensors, and reverse camera. And since we're already on the topic of technology, let's check out the infotainment system of the JAC S2. It is equipped with 7-inch touchscreen display system that comes available with AM, FM, MP3, AUX, USB, and Bluetooth connectivity. Sound is enjoyable through six speakers. It's time to check what's under the hood of the JAC S2. The JAC S2 is powered by a 1.5-liter inline Ford naturally aspirated VVT gas engine. It is capable of giving out 111 horsepower and 146 Nm of torque. This engine is mated to a continuously variable transmission that forwards all power to the front wheels. The suspension setup is comprised of a McPherson strut with coil spring at the front and torsion beam at the rear. This setup is pretty basic, but it manages to come through with its responsibility to ensure smooth handling. When it comes to safety and security, the JAC S2 is loaded with features that ensure nothing less. It is equipped with anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, stability control, hill start assist, and two airbags. Meanwhile, for security, keyless entry is available, as well as central locking, an alarm, and an immobilizer are also available. That was the JAC S2, a car that arrived in the local market with style and substance. Today we're going to talk about a topic that's probably the most gus gus topic in the entire automotive universe. Changing the oil in your car. The most frequently asked question is, what oil should I use? And to answer that, very simple. Check your owner's manual. It's in there somewhere, and it tells you what kind of oil that you should use. Just for kicks, we're changing the oil of this Mitsubishi Montero, and then we flip to the section where it says maintenance. And here we have selection of engine oil. Now, granted, this is not the most straightforward answer, because it gives you a lot of different numbers, and one look, most people would actually turn away and say, ah, I have no idea what this is and I don't understand it. But most other manuals will tell you the exact specification of oil that you're going to use. And it's always a number followed by a W, followed by a dash, and another number. And we're going to explain those numbers in a little bit, but if you just want to check it out, there are about a million YouTube videos out there that says how to explain and how to read these oil specification numbers. We're not going to do any of that, you can check that out, but we're just going to basically semi-dumb it down for everybody. Eliminate all the technical talk and all of that stuff. So this is your motor oil. Different brands, different branding. But the important thing is this one here, these numbers. SAE 10W40. Every oil label has this. Since we're in the Philippines, there's only two numbers that you should remember. These last two. It's either 30 or 40. Any of them will work on any car here. The first number here with the W, we don't care because W here stands for winter. And since we're in the Philippines and winter is never going to happen here. So all you have to do is remember, 40 or 30 will work for any car that's sold in this country. It doesn't matter what oil brand that you have, it doesn't matter who makes it, what additives, all of them will work, irregardless. Just don't put cooking oil in it. That's kind of a dumb no-brainer. It goes without saying that when you buy a car, maintenance is part of it. Your engine has moving metal parts inside. The oil is the film in the barrier that prevents these two parts from rubbing against each other too much. It's no-brainer to think that if you rub two pieces of metal together, heat will be generated and metal will come off. If you don't have any oil in your engine, you're going to have a very, very short engine life. So you have to change the oil regularly. It's one of the easiest and most sure-fired ways to keep your engine happy and running long. Now, as for oil change intervals, before, back in the old days, it can be as low as 5,000 because of mineral oil. But now, 10,000, 15,000, even 20,000 intervals is not a problem anymore. 
Almost oils right now are fully synthetic because that's what the market demands. There are still some oils that are mineral, meaning straight from the ground, they process it, no additives, no nothing, no further processing, that's mineral oil. Synthetic oil has other additives and every brand has their own. The same way that one soap has luxury fragrance, the other soap has extra bubbles. These are the few things that differentiate the brands from each other. So that's where the synthetic comes from, the additional processing after the base oil has been processed. And by the way, as far as manufacturing goes, all oil comes from Saudi Arabia. There's no oil pump from Germany, there's no oil pump from France, there's no oil pump from the Philippines, no. All of these things come from Saudi Arabia. The oil manufacturers buy this by the barrel in bulk as the base material, which consists of 90 to about 95% of the volume of the oil. It's all the same. It's the additives that make it different. The same way that gasoline is, any brand that you hear out there, you hear it often enough, it'll work on your car. <laughs> With every change oil, it is recommended that you change your oil filter, but I will say it is required that you change your oil filter. So as the name says, this is a filter. Its job is to filter and get dirty. Once this is full of dirt and debris in, from inside the engine, it has nowhere else to go. So where do you think it's gonna go? It's gonna go back inside the oil and goes in, inside your engine. It keeps going round and round inside the engine with all that dirt and debris. So 200, 300 bucks gives you a lot of peace of mind. And that's how you do an oil change. Pretty simple, it takes less than an hour. You can actually do it yourself at home. Uh, you and probably one of your friends. Then beer na lang yung pangbayad. And that's all the focus this week. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, we hope you have found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been Ray Louis Gamboa.